Welcome guys to Awareness in Action. I actually nearly said wrong word there. Welcome to Awareness in Action. Uh, this is Jock here and I'm delighted to be here again today. Let me ask you one quick question. Are you a leader or are you a boss? That's what we're going to talk about today. That's what we're going to get into. And there's reasons that I want to get into that. So when we come right back, we're going to answer that question. Are you a leader or a boss? Your choice. God bless. I'm going to share a little personal story and it comes from my other side, my, my marketing business, my content marketing business. Um, I, I, and it's what I've witnessed. And the reason I ask that question, are you a leader or a boss? Because leaders lead, bosses bully. That's the way I think about it, okay? Leaders lead and bosses bully. And at this time of crisis that we are in, we need leaders more than ever. We need leaders. Uh, and it takes a, a special person to be a leader, but anybody can be a boss. That's very true. Uh, and, and let me just explain what I mean by that, just from a, a personal situation. So there is a company that I've been doing marketing for for a very long time, uh, content marketing for, for a very long time. And all I ever hear from the staff is that they are terrified of the boss. That they are so scared for their, 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 their future in the company that they, they basically fear this person. And that, that can't be a good person. And I've, I've watched things even in this crisis from that particular boss where I don't see much leadership. I see a dictatorship and that's not how we are going to be successful. One, because as I said, in, in as, much as, as much of the knowledge I understand about marketing, I understand spirituality at a, probably a, a, a far deeper level than I would even understand marketing. So I'm blending both together and I know that there is a karmic price to pay for this. I know there's a karma, there's the law of karma that, that, that has to be paid. And, you know, when I was a marketing director for another big organization before I actually had my uh, corporation, um, that was one of the reasons that I left is because I seen the way that they treated um, an individual who literally I seen the person virtually beg for his job. I can't stand that. Leaders are people who extend a hand not to take but extend a hand to bring that person up and to look at them on the same level that they are on. I don't see much of that. I, I, I see a lot of people that think they're more than what they are. The, you know, there's a, there's, I wrote an article many, many years ago and that article was called All, All Blood Runs Red. And it was really an article about um, racism in, in the world and the fact that we are all the same, or our blood is the same color, it doesn't matter what is external to us, our blood is all the same color. We are no different from each other, and a leader is no different from someone he is leading. There's maybe just a difference in knowledge, there's maybe a difference in skill, but effectively we are all individuals, we're all spirits having a human experience. And in business that means a lot. You know, when, when, you have, uh, when, you, when you have a boss, the boss doesn't want to be contacted. He looks down at the individuals. You, you, can't, you, you, you can't connect with that person because he's too busy. He's not, he doesn't have an open door or she doesn't have an open door policy. Everybody is absolutely terrified of them. That is not a leader, okay? That is not someone who nurtures their business. That is not someone who develops trust authority and develops emotional relationships with people whilst still now I'm, I am going to say this whilst still keeping the professional boundaries you can still be a leader you can still give that laurel branch you can still extend that hand 
and bring them up to your level so you can share wisdom with the, with them on that equal level. When someone is terrified to approach a boss, it doesn't say much about the company in itself because if that's how the person is leading their company with that sort of an attitude, then you actually have to think about the service they're, they're giving to individuals. There's a great saying from you know C.S. Lewis it said you know in the screw tape letters you know the devil the devil can come as a bee in a light, and that's quite true. And I'm not going to get any religious or anything there, but really even that happens with a boss. A boss can be all uh, light and love to the the customers out there because they're take take taking, but at the end of the day, this is then when they struggle from loyalty from their staff. And the service is not there because the staff don't like working for them. And the staff are, are too, they, it looks like it's just a job then. There is no going over, going over and above to, to make that service uh, spectacular. And I've had even top uh, executives within the organization that I work for contact me and say, don't tell anybody about I'm looking for another job. Leaders don't have people running away from them to look for another job. Leaders develop community and strength in the community to build something together. You see, you can be the biggest cog out there, but it won't turn without the smaller cogs underneath it and the law of obviously physics. Moving that cog, moving that wheel. If you want to be the biggest cog there, and no other cog is turning you, you will just stay static. And there'll be no one around you for support. Those little cogs are there for your support. A leader who leads a team, leads them with wisdom, with their heart and their soul, and with compassion and understanding. A boss who wants to turn on their own is only turning by inertia, or of maybe if something tips the scales a little bit, but it won't always be that way. The team can continually make that, that cog turn. You can't turn it on your own. But a boss is also looks down on the people and elevates themselves through their own ego uh, to be something, they're, they're, I have a saying when I say they're, they're like a legend in their own lunchtime. Oh my God, you know, I, I wouldn't go up against that guy. He's so tough and he's so hard and, or, or she is such a bitch. And we, we, there's instantly people who are losing respect. You know, I've lost respect for, for, for uh, bosses and companies and, and left because I didn't like the way they were treating their stuff. Um, but at the same time too, is I, I don't fear a boss in any way and you shouldn't either because they are no different from you. If they're a boss, then you won't think much of them anyway. But if they're a leader, the leader is someone that you can go to, to ask advice, to get wisdom, to nurture you through your journey in being and developing a, a, a better aspect to the team or developing a better person. So you've got to ask yourself, ladies and gentlemen, what do you want to be? Do you want to be the boss or do you want to be the leader? Let me know below. Let me know some of the examples that you have witnessed bosses doing and looking down on people. Remember, guys, all blood runs red. It doesn't matter how famous someone is. At this moment in time, every single person in this world has gone through uh, um, a crisis and there is no selection there. Leaders of organizations are being affected. Uh, individuals are being affected. Famous people are being affected. It doesn't matter who you think you are, or what your ego tells you what you are. We are all equal. We are all equal in spirit, and we are all equal to each other. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to extend your hand to pull that person up, 
to share your wisdom and knowledge on an equal playing field, on an equal level? Or do you want to look down on them, keep them downtrodden and lose all the respect that you that you think you have and not be as success, successful as you, you want to be? Because that is being a boss if that's what you're looking at. But if you want to extend that hand in friendship and compassion, if you want to extend that hand to pull someone up, you're a leader and you deserve all the success in the world as long as you can share that success with all the little cogs that helped you get there. Because all the little cogs are the foundation that make you turn. You can't do it alone. So be a leader, guys. God bless.